Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today we are going ahead and checking out another survival setup or some type of server setup. Now a lot of people have been asking me over the last few months to do some more of these videos, so I am. We did one last week on a Skyblock setup and this week we are doing one on a 1.16 survival setup. So thank you to everybody suggesting these and to all of our 5M viewers, please note we do have lots of 5M content coming next week. I'm a little bit behind on videos right now, but I'm getting them done as soon as I can. We do have an ESX tutorial coming as well. I'm currently working on it literally the same day I'm working on this video that's also being worked on so make sure to stay tuned for that please don't unsubscribe or anything anyway let's get straight into it so this one um it does have a test server if you're interested you can join yourself and check it out uh you, I'll leave a link to this page down in the description but it comes with four spawn islands um it also comes with uh VIP zones PvP zones crates enchanters kit previews jobs mines dungeon skills farm and overall like general things that you can do banks and fishing rewards and vaults and G kits and furniture. It comes with all this cool stuff. So a lot of people have been asking me, how do I just go ahead and get like a fully pre-made server? Well, this is kind of how you do it. You get some type of setup. Uh, thank you to the author who gave me access to do this video. I don't personally have any like um, opinions or anything. So I'm just going to be doing my typical review of resources and servers saying what I think can be improved, what I like about it, etc. So please keep that in mind. Anyway, Okay, so when you download it and when you get this set up, uh, it does require citizens, um, which is a paid plugin, so please note that. It does have an optional bounty hunter paid plugin, but all the configs come with it, so you just have to get the actual plugin files. You can run the start.bat if you're on Windows. Uh, you can configure these files here to make it more for your server. Um, so everything in the game will be like serverexample.com and stuff. You can change those all in these files. So you have this. You can edit the server.properties to change your port or whatever else you need. Uh, there's an FAQ and there's support links if you're needed. Um, let's hop in game. Let's take a look at what we think about this and we'll go from there. So when we are in game, um, first thing we do is we spawn in and there's nice little particles here. So great job on the particles. I love when servers have particles and stuff when you join just because it makes it a little bit more interactive. The only thing I would say about that is to possibly make it a little bit, um, less like constant. Maybe once you join in, it disappears or something. That's just my personal suggestion though. Another thing I would do is make sure your tools are organized. So you kind of had an organized tool here, but I would put your armor on automatically. And obviously you can change this yourself. If you do get the setup, you can change it yourself in the server files. This is just an idea for the overall setup type stuff. Um, so let's take a look around spawn. You got like the rules so you can create your own rules and like your help menu. That's pretty cool. Rewards, right click. So it seems like maybe my NPCs are not spawning correctly. Maybe my citizens plugin is not for this version of Minecraft. Maybe I messed up when installing it, but I would assume normally there's an NPC there. Uh, teleporter, start your adventure. So I'm just going to explore hub a little bit so we can take a look at the builds and the crates and everything. You got keys. So this is where you probably have an NPC where you can buy keys. I don't know why my NPCs are not working. Uh, real quick, I'm just going to check console. It probably something with my fault um, when I was setting this up myself. Uh, let's see here. Just give me one moment, everybody. I probably will cut this out. If not, then I clearly didn't have time to cut this out when I was editing because, you know, long time. Yes, it is something I messed up on, so please forgive me for that. Um, but overall, you can see down here, you kind of have the sky block from high pixel type thing where you have the health and the mana, which is pretty cool. Obviously, this is survival, so it's a different type of game mode, so keep that in mind. Uh, you have player vaults, so you can do like PV1 and stuff to store your stuff in player vaults. So that's pretty cool. You got crates, but the one thing I would always say, and you can obviously change yourself if you get the setup or whatever, is don't bounce people back with crates. I would for sure making sure... Um, you don't bounce people back with crates because sometimes that just can knock people off places and stuff. Um, and that may not work correctly. I'm just opping myself there. There we go. Uh, so obviously don't bounce players back. That's just my personal suggestion. But overall, let's go ahead and take a look at the crates in the meantime. So you got like your typical survival type stuff in here in the crates. That's pretty cool. All right. Good job with that. Uh, dungeons are up there. Vaults. Let's go up to the dungeons and take a little bit of a look. Uh, right click to go to the dungeons. So clearly, um... I may have to go back and install citizens to look around a little bit more, but let's uh, keep taking a look around the place in the meantime and just take a look at all the things we can do. Um, we'll explore hub over here, check out your shops a little bit. I'm guessing the shopkeepers are NPCs as well. They are. So why don't we just do slack shop? I'm guessing we can open that. Yes, we can. So you got like wool, spawners, miners, food, internal shop. So uh, infernal shop. Clearly I can't talk. So those are like your OP gear and stuff. Slash tokens, I would assume, would do the same type of thing. Okay, so you got tokens is like um, your default 
main uh, worth value. Don't know how to phrase that. So it's like your extra currency kind of. You got quests, so I'm guessing you can also do slash quests or something. Slash quest, I'm not sure. Uh, enchants, okay, so you got your NPCs for enchants over here. I saw that down here, that little XP thing. Great job with that. Keep up the good work with that because that's like gaining XP. Um, I'm guessing slash help opens this. Yes, it does. So slash help, slash menu showcases stuff about the server. There we go. This is what we could use. So you got warps, so you got your crates, bounty, disco, fishing, preview kits. Very nice. Got quests in here, so this is where I can actually see everything. Uh, shop recipes, so that's what that recipe would open up, and you can see the recipes for custom items. I like how you've done that. Token shop, let's take a look at what we can buy with tokens. Uh, oh, okay, so you receive 5,000, so you buy tokens from there. Okay, that makes sense. Skills, ah, so you can level up skills and stuff. So this kind of reminds me of Hypixel Skyblock, but survival. So that's actually pretty cool, so keep up the good work with that. Um, auction, obviously, slash AH opens that. Pets opens that pets menu we viewed a second ago. So very nice hub, very nice interactive hub. You can walk around to the different NPCs and stuff down there. Seems to be the bounty teleporter. That's pretty cool. Over here, you got jobs, so I'm guessing I can do slash jobs. Yes, that's the help menu, or I can just go in here and probably type jobs somewhere. No, so maybe add jobs to your menu, um, but obviously you still have jobs down here if you're interested, or you can click the NPC if you don't install the wrong version of Citizens. Uh, skills, we looked at those. So very nice interactive hub. That's something I always recommend. So very nice job on the interactive hub of this setup. Um, let's go ahead and just go in and start our adventure, shall we? So we just walk in. Random TP, end world, or nether world. We'll do random TP. I'm guessing it's loading. Yes, so it's loading. So... Uh, one thing I would say, so you can see it's waiting three seconds down here to teleport. Make sure this is an insta-teleport. Now, this is something, obviously, you can change, and I keep saying that. But, um, I would make sure that's an insta-teleport, and you have an extra space in that little message there. But, uh, teleported, nice custom-type biomes, I think these are, or interesting-type biomes, at least. Um, one thing I would personally do, which I mentioned back in my 1.16 video, is for sure preload this world. So you can see how the chunks are loading in over there. That means the world's not preloaded. And it wouldn't come preloaded because preloading a world takes so many chunks, especially on 1.16 being so not optimized for Minecraft. And this is nothing on the author's problem or anything. This is just a default Minecraft problem. It's just Minecraft in one point, anything over 1.12 is not well optimized. And that's that's just going to be a problem for the future, and I'm not sure how we're going to solve that unless Mojang and Spigot kind of work together and fix that, but overall we can't really do anything about that. But preloading the world is very important, and I highly recommend you do that. A nice health, like, um, numbers there, very cool, and nice, like, fighting XP down at the bottom, that's really cool. Um, but yeah, so preload the world if you do get the setup. That could take a few days. Keep that in mind. If you don't know how to preload a world, I will be doing a tutorial on it in the future. So please stay tuned for that because it should be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, preloading the world is a number one thing to do when you get the setup. Another thing I would do is also customize those achievement messages you get in chat. So get rid of the default ones. Either code a plugin or something like that or just use your quests in the server. You can do that in the server.properties file to just disable those messages. And I do recommend doing that uh, just so it makes it a little bit easier on um, the player and it gets it more unique than the default Minecraft. Um, so I'm going to die over here and I'll probably be teleported back to spawn I'm guessing and since it's survival I'm guessing I also lose my items. We will see momentarily. Yes, so there's all my items. Nice drop animation of the items. So you can see actually the item names and stuff. So that's great. Keep up the good work with that. But overall it seems like you have this really really well set up and I wanted to say Thank you for inviting me and letting me review. Um, if you're interested in the setup yourself, please go ahead and check out the link in the description. If you're not, no worries. Um, and hopefully you did enjoy today's review. Obviously, my opinions, um, you don't have to change anything in this uh, setup or anything. Just my idea of stuff. Uh, I got a lot of cool videos planned for the next few weeks, so make sure to stay tuned for that. 5M ESX tutorials are also coming, along with a bunch of cool IRL stuff, which I'm currently working on, and a few side projects. So make sure to stay tuned for those very soon. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Noodles. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.